Do you got a lot of moose up there? A lot of moose. Want to hear my moose call? Yeah. Here we go. Not bad, right? That's pretty good. That's not bad. Want to hear mine? Yeah. Moose. <laughs> <laughs> if I can, when we bag a moose, we want to make sure it's near some place we can get a front end load or two. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. You don't want to try to no shoot. No. I shot one in the U- off the Yukon in the Hodzana River once, and it fell into the river. Oh, my goodness. Right as the sun set. How'd you get him out? I tried to chop him up in half with an axe underwater. It didn't work. <laughs> Spent the night on a gravel bar. The, the guys I had upstream, they got caught in the dark, and they didn't come floating down until the next day. So I started a fire by the bank, and they finally came down, and we got it out. <sighs> Uh, I'd prefer a road hunt. A buddy didn't... of mine had the same thing happen last year. He shot a moose and it, it ran into the river and died in the river. And they're like, fuck. Oh. Oh. 2,000 pound animal. Oh, yeah. No, that's horrible. When and that happens. But they're, they're, so, they're so unusual. Like when you see them, they don't look real. Like they're so big. And that you see these goddamn barn doors coming off the side of their heads. You're like that is a real animal. And you shoot one of those, you're eating good meat for a year. Every day you could have moose meat for That's a right. year. It's incredible. I let guys, uh, I have different areas, and I have one group of guys that likes to go to those certain areas. So my rule is you can hunt there, but I get a quarter of whatever. Oh, not. nice. That's a good so deal. So every time they, if they get a moose, I get a quarter of it. And then another group, same thing. So last year I got five quarters of moose. I never really went hunting. <laughs> Well, but it it helps me. I, I give the moose away to you know go down to the pioneers or s- some food bank or some place. Oh, that's nice. Pass a little bit of it around. The guys that can't hunt anymore that are no longer able to go hunting, I'll take some, give them some moose meat. That's nice. And uh, we always have a freezer full of it just in case. It's so good for you. Oh, it's great meat. It's, it's the great. best meat, like wild game meat in particular. And moose is unusual. It's a very different taste than elk, very different than deer. It's like similar, but not, you know? I've never had elk. It's delicious. But, I got some for you. You got a little freezer bag? Uh, no, I don't. I think I have some. Hold on. I think we brought some freezer bags. We did, right? So. Yeah, we got freezer bags. We'll take it when back. are you flying back? Uh, tonight. Okay, I'll hook you up. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Because we're going to... Uh, I got summer it. sausage for the plane. You can eat it on the plane flight. I got some roasts for you, some no, no, steaks. No. Don't do all that. Come Just, on, man. No. Take it with you. I'll, it's the best meat. I'll set you up with some moose meat, though. I'll uh, I'll send you Just down. set me up near a moose. We'll get our oh, own I'll moose. Oh, I'll put you on a moose. <laughs> are there a lot up there? Oh, yeah. The problem with moose is moose are usually around grizzlies. That is a problem. 